Welcome to the Bloody Mary podcast, where we talk about all things horror while drinking a Bloody Mary. I'm Jesse. And I'm Tammy. And we are totally married. Mm. And tonight, we're talking about stuff. <laughs> and things. <laughs> stuff and things. things but and before stuff. we get into stuff and things, um, uh, we have stuff and things. We do. We have merchandise. <laughs> if you go to www.bloodymarypodcast.com, um, you can buy, we got merch, we got shirts and stuff at our store. Um, and we also have an Amazon wish list. Christmas is right around the corner. If you'd like to buy us some stuff, we'll give you a shout out. We got some expensive shit on there. If you're hella rich, <laughs> like like a, a uh, mics and mic stands and things like that. And there's also some fun little things like Bloody Mary mixes and stuff. So yeah, if you're feeling generous, go ahead. And it's uh, Christmas, so again, check out our merch. Yep, merch, uh, shirts, water bottles, uh, hoodies, all that cool stuff. Yeah. Um, also, I have a new short film out. You do. Um, came out on Halloween. Uh, super short. It's under two minutes. It's called Jack Shit. It's really fun. Um, it's going to be doing its festival run next Halloween season, uh, but it's already got into a couple fests. Uh, so check it out. A lot of cool, hardworking local talent uh, helped to make it yes, come together. It's really so fun. Check it out. Um, uh, so new in the world of horror. Um, they announced Friday the 13th is going to be a series yes. after not getting anything Friday the 13th for well over 10 years. How excited are um, you? I'm very excited. This is my favorite horror franchise. Um, so it's coming from Brian Fuller and A24 Studios, and it's going to be a Peacock original. And from what I understand, I think it was Brian Fuller or someone who was talking about it. And you could tell that they really like like the franchise. Mm -hmm. They, you know, he was because I think a question was asked, like, where are you going to take it? And he's like, well, we're not afraid to go to hell or space. <laughs> so, so that's fun to hear. It's uh, like, we, I'm glad that they're not going super serious and changing the tone completely. Right. Because uh, Friday the 13th as a franchise is just fun, right? It is. And fun. you can't take away that element. And I think that of like kind of the tentpole horror franchises, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Texas Chainsaw. Halloween. Hell Hellraiser, Halloween, on and on and on. This franchise has the most variety inside of their films. That's meaning, very true. Meaning like the first one is a whodunit. Right. And then the other, you know, you have the other ones are, okay, now you know who your killer is. It's like a human kind of slasher flick. Right. And then, then he dies and becomes a zombie and now you have <laughs> these creature films. And, and then you get into weirdness like he goes to hell. Goes and to he's reincarnated. He goes to New York. <laughs> yes, he goes on boat rides. He goes, goes to, to space. Fucking space. He fights Freddy. Um, so there's a lot of variety inside of these. Like if you want to watch maybe a serious one, you can because they have those. If you want to watch something lighter and more fun, you can. If you want to watch something silly, you can. Right. You can't say that with the Halloween franchise. You're right. You to can't. a certain degree. Yeah, to a certain degree. There's right? some where you're like, well, that's just silly. Yeah. But um, not intended. But anyways, I'm a genuine fan and I'm genuinely happy to see it. Um, I I think what they're doing to start is they're doing a prequel. And I, I remember it was some podcast earlier that we talked about what I don't want to see. And that was one of the things I didn't want to see. I don't want to see a prequel. But if they do it well, I mean, I'm going to I'll take what I can get because we haven't had Friday the 13th right. since like the, the remake, which was really good. Um, Yeah. So I'm excited about that. What do you think of it? What are you expecting? Um, I'm excited. I'm decided. I'm excited to see where they go with it. Um, mm. I do kind of want a prequel a little bit. Yeah. I want more um, Mama Voorhees love, I guess. Yeah. Um, because when they, like with the remake, they just kind of left her out of it. Mm -hmm. um, and that was the fun of the first one. It yeah. wasn't Jason. Yeah, yeah. It was no, yeah. The mom. So I'm kind of excited to see what they do with that. Um, yeah, me because too. Because she was the original killer. Mm -hmm. So you got to give her some love. And you do, but you can't go like. Hopefully this series does well and it continues. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying you can get away with that for a season, maybe two. But if you don't give us Jason. Oh, no. I think that. Like, I don't want this whole. Like, I don't want to be like four or five seasons in before we can get Jason killing. People. Oh, no, no. I think that the best would be. I don't even know. Like, maybe a season one. Mm -hmm. Where you do the backstory, or at least halfway through season one, yeah, you get a little, and then you get some Jason, or you get Jason at the end because you've dealt with the beginning already, and then mm -hmm. it kicks off season two with 
full blown Jason. Yeah. I don't want it to run, you know, four seasons. I don't even want it to run two seasons yeah. with backstory. I but I do want a little love for yeah. Mrs. Voorhees and and, and yeah. that. So well, well, I just hope they don't go. It was a fantastic series, Bates Motel. Mm -hmm. But that's what they did. They it was more about. I mean, it was when he was becoming, like leading up to being the killer right. in in the original film Psycho. Um, so it was a lot of build up, and it was like a lot more focused on the mother. Right. And that went on for like I think it was three or four seasons before we got to him actually being kind of who he was in the Psycho film we right. saw. I'm just worried that they do that, and it's not what I want to see. I don't want to see mom palling around with little. You know, deformed Jason. Right. Uh, we can do that in the first season, but I'm curious to. I, I know they'll like who's the dad is going to be a thing. Right. I imagine they'll they'll do that. Um, but I just really hope we just get kind of the flagships of the franchise with yeah it's, it's kills and I don't boobs think we will. And, you know, I mean, not I don't think I think we will get that, yeah. and I don't think. Um, I think that the people who are making it now know. You want to see Jason, but yeah. you need a little backstory too. Yeah. So I don't think they're going to drag it out like Bates Motel or anything like that. Because yeah. you're right. I mean, Jason is Friday the 13th. So yeah. you can't. For better or worse, he is. Right. So you can't not have. You yeah. can't just keep it dragging and not have a Jason. Yeah. For seasons. I know. In, in so, like, it, like 11 of the 12 films, it's Jason is the killer. Right. <laughs> Wait, well, okay. No. No. Uh, 10 of the Ten. 12 films. <laughs> yes. Um. So. <laughs> I think they'll do it. I think they'll do it justice. I think that they've yeah, yeah. been waiting so long to get this content out, and there's yeah. probably quite a. They've had a lot of time to maybe like flesh out some ideas and and be ready to go. So yeah, but, I don't yeah. think. Um, I don't think they're gonna disappoint. Yeah, I hope not. I, I find it really interesting. I think this is true that they have complete rights to do anything Friday the Thirteenth on a show. But they can't make a film. That's great. That's well, weird. Well, there's. I know that. I don't know if it's still going on, but there's always things because the industry has changed so much with streaming services, mm -hmm. and I know there's different rules and regulations and and pay scales and things you can and can't do if your film or your series is on a streaming service as opposed to network cable or film. And I don't know. It should all just be umbrellaed under something so we can just get it'd be cool to see in the theater is like my thing like I, right. I would love to see friday the 13th in the theater or something new but i'll take this for sure i mean that it, it should be like one season it will be at least eight hours of friday the 13th right w which is i don't know five films so that's good yeah uh, yeah yeah um, well and maybe this opens the door to you know yeah movie you know more things yeah um with that, what what stuff you want to talk about? What do you got going well, on? Well, really, I have that game that I want to play. Oh, a so game? we can play that at the end. Okay. All right. Because I thought that was fun the last time it was. we played yeah, that yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so. excited to play the game. Uh, you know what? Scream 6 news. Oh, yes. Um. So recently we've got, um, and maybe by the time this comes out, there'll be a trailer, but we don't have a trailer yet. We've got a couple teaser images. One was the whole gang, which looked pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And another one that was kind of like, what is this? It's Ghostface in a convenience store that kind of looks like it could be from the past. It could be from now holding like a sawed off shotgun at somebody. Um, right. So we're getting some stuff, but... I love the Scream franchise. And we'll start with this. Same. And and I really love the last one we got. We mm -hmm. saw it twice in the theater. And the stuff that I'm seeing and hearing so far has not made me excited about this as I was for the other one. Mm -hmm. Well, it started with Nev Campbell. Right. They didn't get her. They She wanted money and they wouldn't give her money. And then she was like, yeah, I should be paid. I'm the face of this. And then our other... Uh, legacy stars uh, supported her. Matthew Lillier, Jamie Kennedy, you know, everyone was like, yeah, she's right, you know, pay her. Right. But they went ahead with production without her, unless it's some weird big publicity thing and she's in it. But I think that if they, they did that, it hurt them. Uh, so she's not in it. And then Jenna Ortega's just been saying weird shit, like <laughs> going around and saying, like recently she said, I'm so excited, quote, I'm so excited about it because there's a lot of good chase sequences. Okay, so you're <laughs> you're promoting this film by saying a horror film has chase sequences that are good. <laughs> right, Every, I mean, they're good. That's like if you're in an action film, like we got guns that shoot. 
<laughs> we got action. It's pretty it, yeah. good. So it's just really dumb. <laughs> like I don't. And even before then, she said something. So I want to read you something she said to about talk when talking about Neff Campbell not being a part of the film. She said. I feel like I can't really speak too much on that just because it's not necessarily my character. But I will say there's so much going on in this next one that it's so action heavy and so gore heavy that I think you're going to be distracted almost, which is decoded to be, it's going to be so cool. You won't even notice she's there. Right. That's what she said. You won't notice she's she's there. There's so much cool stuff going on. Right. We got kills and chases and shit. <laughs> There's no, blood. we're There's gonna blood notice things. that she's not there. <laughs> right. It's you're, you're it's not Sydney. having. Right. And she's been the face of the franchise since the beginning. You, you're not. We're gonna notice she's not there. Right. Um. So just stuff like that's been odd. Like you're promoting the movie and you're saying we got chase sequences. And there's gore. And you're not and blood. gonna you won't notice that <laughs> she's not there. Yeah, we notice. Of course we notice. Where do you think they're gonna take it? They're in uh, New York. Yeah. Scream goes to New York. <laughs> I mean, just I Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> That's what I want. I want it to be during Christmas. Um honestly, I don't know. I was I was talking with Sean about this, who's usually here for all of our scream stuff. And when the trailer drops, he'll come on and we'll do a a reaction and a theory video. Um, but seeing that still like the whole group together, I just don't know why everyone's in New York. Right. Because uh, California is where they were, right? Mm -hmm. I can't remember. I think so. It's not New York though. It's California if um, I yeah, remember correctly. Yeah. But I don't know what would bring all of them there. College. No, <laughs> no, they're not all of those characters that survived it. Why would they come there? I don't, this is what I. Why would they be across the country together? Are they field tripping? Are they going on a vacation? <laughs> so the first, so the last one we got was kind of mirroring the first one, right? Yeah. So if we're going with that logic in my head. No. Listen to my okay, line uh, okay. of thinking, uh, I will, sir, I will, before I will, you okay. tell me right. no. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> but no. Then in the second original, yes. she went off to college. So maybe the Jen Ortega character and her sister are like, we need to get the fuck away from California. The And then the distance is all the way across the country in New York. Yeah. Right. And then the twins that survive, they're like, shit, I'll go with you because this, we almost got murdered. Um, and they leave. They're all just over there with Gail. And go to New York. And Gail is still there doing her daytime talk show. Uh, uh, I don't and know. And then well, there's well, new characters added in because they learned. They were like, oh, hey, I'm going to college with you. So you're going to well, be our friend well, now. Isn't Sam Carpenter older? Like she's be like not beyond college, but she's, she already like. Did Correct, that. but if her right? her sister is going to college in New York, she's either going to go visit her or go to New York with her sister because they just experienced being almost fucking murdered and then her, they how, both how, killed people. How boring is that, though? Like, we're just in New York because that's where we all went? Like, because, I don't know. Like, I don't like, know, that's just my theory. Yeah. How, do you get a, how do you get them to New York? Fucking college. She's threaten there, them? Threaten, Th threaten you could somebody? threaten them, that's true. I mean, but I think like, they were trying to get as far away from this bullshit as possible, and so they're going to the other side of the country to no. start over and live a different life. And no. then it followed them. I, I, there. Don't, I don't think so. Yeah, well, I, I don't. I, I don't think that's why they're going to be there. I think there's going to be another reason. Okay. I, I, maybe one of them is there for that, and then I. I don't know. I just I'm off in college in New York. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I really hope when we watch this movie and come back, I'll be like. <laughs> Can we please review the tape of when I said they were all going off the to tape. college? Thank you. <laughs> Can you just rewind that They're tape back? They're not all going to go off to college together at the same fucking college. If if it's it's going to be one of them and then the rest are there visiting. If that's what it is, and then that's just so throwaway. Sydney and Randy went to the same college. They did, yes. They went off by themselves together to the same college. Yeah, and then every, saying, everyone started. I just, yeah, I, I, and then I get it. And people showed up to them. But why and would they? are off no, to college. No, no, yes. I don't want that. That's not what I want. <laughs> I, I don't care. That's what I think is <laughs> happening. <laughs> uh, I mean, you could go. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know why they would be there. <laughs> no, no, no. it's not college. <laughs> it's not college. Okay. Um, 
But anyways, I guess I'm not as excited as for this one as the other, and that's sad. Uh, that is sad. But I really you're... hope that the trailer looks cool, and I hope it's really good. Um, because it can be a good film if you know everything else about the film is really good, aside from Nev Campbell being there, then it'll be good. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just don't know. I, I mean, there, like I was, it could be it, Kevin Williamson had that idea that he turned into that Kevin Bacon series to where um, there were multiple like across the country in sex, like Ghostface oh, Killers, yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's so popular now. And that's the thing too, in this world, it's it's hugely popular because of all the stab films. Right. So maybe they're there working on a stab movie like in Scream 3. Um, I don't know why they're there. I think maybe they find a portal. <laughs> A portal. They a portal cro- through, yeah. like, like in the the board game Clue, how you can like jump from like one, one r- side of the board to the other. Se- so secret there's a passage. secret passage yes. from California to New York. That, that yeah, they that's took. that's a space portal. That's a space portal. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, what I do hope, I hope they lean more into the because uh, Billy Loomis and Skeet Ulrich was in it. And she would see her dad. Right. Uh, I I hope they lean more into that. It'd be cool if they they just went somewhere else with it and like he almost possesses or inhabits his daughter and is kind of reborn in her or something would be kind of fun. It'd be fun if she leaned more into his psychoticness because now Mm -hmm. she's killed someone. Yeah. Like she didn't just stab him once. Like she went to fucking town on him. Yeah. Um, And I I wonder if we're going to see more of that stuff with other characters. Like, is this going to be Star Wars where we're we're seeing dead people all the time? Like, are we going to see dead Dewey? (laughs) <laughs> right. Are we gonna see Matthew Lillard? Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's just, I guess, the stuff that I've seen in the news doesn't. It's just weird. We have chase sequences. Oh, and really? Blood and gore. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's so so weird. Um, another movie we saw recently, we watched uh, My Best Friend's Exorcism. Yes. Because we've been uh, watching a lot of horror films lately. Um, what do you think about that one? It was okay. Yeah, it was, it was not bad. It wasn't like. Yeah, it was okay. I it think was it, okay. It could have been amazing, I think. So I read like, I think we both did. We both read like half the book. We're so bad at reading books now. Um, but like in the first chapter, like the first five pages of that book, they did a way better job at evoking the feeling of the 80s. Right. And, and the world. And- yeah. And the world building and the, and the people. Um, and this one didn't really, f- it, it didn't feel like the person who made it had a love for the 80s. Yes. That's that's kind of what it felt like. And I think that hurt it. I could be wrong. I don't know. But it, it didn't feel... It felt like you were shooting the film and you didn't have that kind of love that the author did. Right. And I, I mm. also... The main character girl, um, mm-hmm. um, she wasn't my favorite. Elsie Fisher? Yeah. I like her in other things. Yeah, exactly. But I didn't like her for that role. And yeah. then also, because the chemistry between her and her best friend... It's supposed to be solid. It's supposed to be super solid. And yeah. I didn't feel that with the two girls. No. I enjoyed the the best friend. I can't remember her name. Um, the one that was possessed. I think she did a great job. I think she was fun at being possessed. And, yeah. And I believe, I don't know how you pronounce her first name, but I think it's Amia Miller. Uh, she played Gretchen. Yeah. So I liked mm-hmm. I liked her. I think she did a yeah, great job. She was she was really good. Um Chris but, but I didn't like the chemistry between the two of them. Wasn't what you get in the book. No, no, not at all. They did not have good chemistry. I, I, I think that was the main thing. I think this film is horribly miscast. I don't think there was a lot of chemistry between a lot of the actors. And um, I, I like, I think that Amia Miller, she was fine as Gretchen. I think if there were in, she would have maybe played another one of the characters if I was casting this. Mm. Uh, Christopher Lowell, I think that's how you say his last name, but he's really good. Oh, he's he, so fun. He was, uh, he was the the kid, the guy in, uh, what's the wrestling movie? The wrestling series on Netflix. Uh, Glow. Glow, yes. He was great in he that. He was an 80s he, face. He was 80s in that. He was on point. And I think his character was good in this. I just don't think he had g- good direction. And his scene partner was Elsie Fisher. And I don't know what it was, but their interactions, like, Felt like he was trying to like bounce stuff off of her and wasn't giving a lot back. Agreed. I think they could have, if they would have cast better, Mm -hmm. that dynamic could have been so fun. Yeah. And it was, it was like, he was like, give me something back. He he was, he was really good. Yeah. And there was no bounce back. He didn't have a good scene partner Mm -hmm. for their stuff. Uh, 
and then he like left. <laughs> I don't know if that was in the book or not, but yeah, I, but we didn't make it that far. I, so I, I wanted more of him. Um, the 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 digital demon at the end. Oh, spoilers! Um, <laughs> <laughs> looked like uh, a house elf from Harry Potter, but with a cleft lip. <laughs> Yeah, it just wasn't good, terrifying at all, or anything. Um, and it wasn't eighties. It wasn't eighties. Like, uh, I just think, yeah. I mean, it wasn't bad. I mean, there's some entertaining parts, but I think it was it was miscast completely. Because mm-hmm. in the book, too, like say what you you will, like they're written and felt as rich, hot eighties babes. And when you think of that image in your head, at least me. That's not what I saw on the screen. No. And I, uh, I get the casting choices they made because of today. Well, yeah, and we need to be more inclusive. Yes. Um I get but it. I think they could have cast just better yeah, regardless. For sure. Yeah. But also you can be inclusive and also be a hot 80s babe. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Yes. You can be inclusive as all hell as long as you look like a hot 80s babe. <laughs> I don't know. Well, the original, I mean, the main character, part of her thing was she was not as pretty as her friends and she had acne on her face and she had to cover it up with her makeup. Yeah. And like. That's true. So she wasn't the hot 80s babe, but she was still. Yeah. She was still miscast. It was still miscast. All The whole friend group was miscast um, and definitely the chemistry between the two best friends, which is. That's the whole thing of them. Like she, mm. she defeats the demon because the love of her friend, yeah, right? Yeah, and, and they definitely were missing that. You know, the, for sure. you definitely miss that chemistry. Yeah. That um, because if you do it right and you have good chemistry, you don't need a lot of time to build that relationship for the audience. Yeah, if you have good chemistry. Yeah, and it just yeah yeah, yeah I feel like this movie is like oh it could have been really good and it was just it was it was all right yeah. Uh, so you have a fun game sitting here. I do. Here. We so played it before. Okay. All right. Where we uh, pick a villain. Okay. We pick and a final girl, gal, person. And a, and a weapon. Uh, we added the weapon this time because the last okay. time we played, we're like, oh, we should add weapons to this. And then we have a setting. Okay. And so we should do, Let's. we'll do two of these. All right. Right? So... so Am I picking? You're uh, picking okay. the first one. All right, I'll so pick the first one. Pick your villain. Uh, pick the villain. This is like okay. This is like your your solving clue. Yeah. Right? Final girl. Okay. Weapon. Oh, excuse me. Setting and weapon. All right. You ready for this? Yes. And so what we're doing is we get the villain, the final person, the setting, and the weapon. And Will they win? Will they lose? Will they die? And we we will just talk about that world. Yeah. Okay. So whatever we're doing, we're in a car. <laughs> <laughs> the setting is just a car. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have a hunting knife. All right. <laughs> um. Uh. Our final man is Tommy Jarvis from Friday the Thirteenth Part Six. <laughs> okay. And he is fighting Chucky. <laughs> 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 okay so this is uh i don't know so tommy jarvis is driving around in a car with his hunting knife that that's his character anyways right um he's going off to fight jason in part six and in a parallel universe chucky pops up from the back <laughs> he's been hiding in the back yeah. seat the whole time well okay so oh here under we, a blanket here we go okay. so in friday the 13th part six tommy jarvis got a book about the dead Oh, necromancy that's right. from a side like, the roadside occult shop. A ro- yes, which could be where Chucky was. Oh, yes. he, he could have been in there, and he just hopped in the car, or Tommy grabbed him. Maybe he's going to use Chucky to defeat Jason. I don't know. Hmm. So, but I that's think, that's where he came from. I think with Chucky, he was in the occult shop, and then <laughs> yeah. he was like, "Ooh, I'm gonna kill him," <laughs> and then he hid in the back seat under a blanket. Yeah, and then Tommy's like driving down the road, like, okay, "I'm gonna." I got my book. I'm going to feed him. I know what to do. And then Al pops Chucky yeah, under from the, the blanket seat. from the back and, seat. And like puts the seatbelt around his throat and is like. Oh, and, so. and his little legs are flapping around. Yeah, his <laughs> little feet. His little feet are just. Uh, whoever's <laughs> driving behind Tommy Jarvis just sees his doll feet like yeah. flapping. And then they're trying to struggle for the yeah. weapon. Yeah. Do you think Tommy Jarvis will win this? Yeah, do you he think, does. Yeah, do you Tommy think Jarvis Chuck- grabs his knife and he just like. 
gets Chucky a few times and throws him out the window. Rolls down the window. Yeah, and, and then Chucky <laughs> rolls on the in the road. Then he gets up and dusts himself <laughs> off and throws out a one-liner and goes about his movie. Right, and he's like... <laughs> and then Tommy Jarvis goes about his film. This is a cut scene from Friday the 13th, part six. They shot this. This is on the cutting room floor. We have this. They Since they connected Jason and Freddy eventually, right. they were going to connect Jason and Chucky. Right. Yep. So, and, and there's an also also a scene where he bought that book at that store. Uh, Ash Williams from Evil Dead runs that store. Yes. Yeah. I like and it. And so he probably had Chucky in one of those conjuring like boxes like Annabelle. Oh yeah. yeah. And then and he's like, let me out, you motherfucking cocksucker. I'm hungry. And, and then like, yeah. Tommy Jarvis is like, oh, that's a cute little doll. Maybe I'll just flick the switch. Or some little kid was like, ha ha ha. Yeah. I think opens I think, it up. Yeah, I think he got out and he just like hopped in his car. So that is uh, a cutting room floor scene that they shot for Friday 13th Part yeah. Six. Definitely. I love the roadside occult shop. Yeah. I feel like I think we made that up in our head. I think we did too, but but that's where he got the book. He said he's no, he said he stopped somewhere and he got those books. Right, and like where do you stop in the roadside? Because he was just driving around. Yeah, right. that's where he got it. All right, all right. I'm so pick so one. your turn. That was fun. That was fun. It's a fun game. All right. Ooh, oh, she she's she's picking from the containers right now. All right. Uh, third one and, and the fourth, fourth one. one. All right. Okay. What do you got? <laughs> we have the creeper. The creeper from Jeepers Creepers. Okay. Sally. Sally. From Tex Texas Chainsaw. Oh, this already is not looking good for Sally. <laughs> <laughs> this is not. A baseball bat. A baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Where are we at? Stu's house from Stew's Scream. Stu's house. Okay, <laughs> so so Sally's dead. <laughs> um, the, the I I think the creeper is he's one of the strongest villains um that we've seen. The only way that we've seen him defeated was in two i can't remember three or we'll talk about the other one but in two they defeated him he just went into hibernation because his time was up because mm -hmm. i forget how long he has if it's a week 23 it's... years no to days. feed oh 23 days i think it's yeah something like that he has a certain he has a finite amount of time to feed and then he he goes against in... his will or not goes into hibernation right so um, and they try, there's no way Sally lives that she's no? she's dead right away. She's dead right away. I, I think I don't know why she's at Stu's house, <laughs> but she's yeah she's got a baseball bat against the creeper. She's fucked. What's she gonna do? Can she hold out until he has to go into hibernation and she just hit? He's flying around and she's just whacking at him like a bat or something. I think no. And then jumps out a window. I, I don't think so. I think. I mean, there's some cool windows in his house. To yeah, she could jump out and maybe she like gives a good chase for a minute but he's got wings and That's i don't true. know i don't know i think what part of her would he eat though she's because he only goes after people that he wants to eat parts of to regenerate I, I, himself. I think so what part is he taking from her to eat so he can absorb her vocal cords oh yeah she's a great screamer to let out like a crazy scream when he's like has killed someone or he's on the hunt he lets out her her scream <laughs> <laughs> he lets out kiss Sally's scream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What part do you think he'd take? Oh, I think he really wants some long blonde hair. Some long blonde hair? So he's going to scalp her, eat it. Yeah. Come out with a beautiful, luscious mane of blonde hair. I like it. Does he... So can the creeper eat multiple parts from the same person? I assume he can, right? I assume he can. Yeah. But I feel like he likes variety. He does. Yeah. yeah, that's the fun part. That's the fun part of him. So, so why, yeah, I think so he wants a luscious mane like so, Fabio. So if he's at Stu's <laughs> house, so we're in like Woodsboro, mm -hmm. and like what what has like is this pre scream or after scream or what's happening? Oh, this is after. I this think. is after. Like they've sold the house. Maybe it's vacant, and yeah. she's she has gone crazy. She broke out of the mental asylum. She's like, I got to get away from here. Texas Chainsaw Guy. So then then she goes from Texas. <laughs> To California, yeah, and then she like, oh, this house is for rent. That looks cute. I like the stained glass windows. And then she goes in, hangs out there for a little while, and then the creeper was like, I really like your hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <I> like. 
<laughs> with a bat. I mean, you could put That's like the strongest person against him with a bat and they right. would still lose. <laughs> a metal bat because then, okay. then it's less likely to break. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to do it again? Um. Okay. One more. One, one more time. One more and then we'll wrap her up. One more time. Then we'll, we'll wrap this. Wrap this deal up here. One, two, three, and oh, we'll just do this oh. one. Four. All right. What we got? What we got? Um. Dun, 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 dun. The fisherman from I know what you did last summer. Okay, one of the <laughs> least scary villains in all oh, God. horror movies, but that's fine. Against Gale Weathers. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, on on the fishing boat from I know what you did last summer. <laughs> okay, he's got advantage. He's got, he's got home, home court home advantage. Field advantage. Um, and the weapon is a ninja sword. <laughs> that <laughs> okay? Gail is on the boat with a ninja sword against him. With she wins. I Gail don't know. wins hands down. I mean, she's in. I, I mean, okay. So I know what you did last summer and scream. Just say they exist in the same world, right? So, um, I I don't know the locations, but maybe she's just doing another story. Yeah, she's invest. She's an investigative reporter. Yeah, she's doing another story. She she's covered scream stuff, and now she's covering uh, these. I don't I don't know what the time frame is or when she hops in. I don't know. She hears about a girl that likes to twirl around like Julie Andrews and the yeah. sound of fucking music. That is the worst final girl. Um, and she's like, oh, I should write about this. And then she goes and checks out this fisherman yeah. killer in the it boat. And then she was like, oh, wait, you're not scary. And then she has her oh, ninja yeah, sword yeah. with her because she's like. <laughs> I can't bring a gun here because I'm traveling, but I can bring a ninja sword. <laughs> I know. She has it on her back. I feel she, like... <laughs> she stops by in a roadside occult shop and finds herself a <laughs> exactly. ninja sword. Well, I feel like after Scream, maybe Scream 2, the character Gail Weathers has taken some uh, karate, some nin some self-defense moves, right. some jiu-jitsu, and she's trained in the sword because she's had to fight this guy a few times. So maybe it's like after Scream 3 and she's like, you know what? I'm fucking training. Right before like right before she marries Dewey, she's yeah. like, look, before we can get married, I have to go off to ninja training. <laughs> yeah. Just in case. Yes. Because I love you, but you're not going to, you're, you know ninja skills whatsoever. Yeah. Really. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No ninja your skills. Your roundhouse kicks are lacking <laughs> yes. heavily. Yeah. Right. You're yeah. never going to be able to do this. So I need to go to ninja school. Yeah. And then they gift her a sword. Yes. Because she, she because she's so awesome. Yeah. And then she carries it around with her all the time. Maybe it's a retractable ninja sword. It like folds up and then she like <laughs> retractable. whips it out and then it'd be like. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> and she can keep it in her pocket. Yeah. Bust it out. Yeah. Yeah. I don't the, know. the fisherman would be dead. Yeah, for, for sure. For sure because he's a horrible villain. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those things where we know she he's after teens in the boat and then she's she's there and she and just And then she's like, Looks like you got hooked and then she slices him in half with her ninja yeah, sword. Yeah, she just like kill bills the shit out of him, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And she's like, Gail Weathers out. Yeah, she's like <laughs> <laughs> Like she just slides in like a spider monkey. <laughs> like it lops his head off. And they're like, Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, Gale and Gail Weathers saves out. the day. Gail Weathers out. And then she goes, doo, doo, pew, and beams away. <laughs> and then she goes to the um, secret passage from New York to California and back again. <laughs> exactly, yes, that secret passage. <laughs> it's going to be there. It's going to be there. Oh, yeah. This is a fun game. I love this game. <laughs> I'm glad you do. <laughs> it's fun. Um, cool. Well, yeah. Um, All right. Anything else you want to talk about? <laughs> stuff and things, things and stuff. I mean, I can't really think of anything. Um, I I hear The Walking Dead finally ended, oh, and yeah. you know, I I watch it in the beginning, and then I go back and I'll catch seasons when I want to on Netflix, so I can fast forward through like most of it <laughs> and get to like the good stuff. It's just, um, yeah, but there's our <laughs> talk just farted over there. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you, Cash. Um, that world has gotten so crazy. I think there's there's a, a Negan and a Maggie spinoff, right. and there's a Michonne and a Rick spinoff, and then there's Fear the Walking Dead, and then there's another one out there too. Um, I just have no interest in this at all anymore. Um, I tried, and then yeah. you would come over when we first started dating. Yeah, yeah. right. And, and you, I'd you watch would watch it. it. Yeah. And when I think of the Walking Dead, I think of I waited for you to watch your episode. So then I can tell you that I loved you for the oh, first time. Isn't that cute? 
<laughs> that's adorable. That's what I think about when I think about The Walking yeah. Dead. And the fact that I was like, why are we listening to him go, Carl? Yeah. And then Carl being the dumbest, and I just, I couldn't do it. Yeah, it's one of those that should have ended like at season five, but it went to, I don't know, 13, 14. What, I, I don't even know what is that. Sometimes you just got to cut it off when you're at the it's top. It's too popular. People kept watching it. I know. Yeah. But then you ruin it. Yeah. Going five more seasons. Yeah. Um. So... Pretty soon, uh, we're going to be doing our uh, wrap up of 2022 and oh, our best yeah, yeah. and worst horror movies. So yeah. that's coming down the pike. Yeah, the, the pike. The pipe. The pike. I don't know. Whatever. Coming down the pike. It's coming down <laughs> we the just pike. saw Thanks Killing Three, <laughs> and one of the characters he really wanted the a pike. pike. Yeah. Uh, you know, no, we're kind of in the. We have like a month or so to go before the end of the year. So this is kind of the time where we we're, we're really watching all the stuff that we missed. We try to you know catch catch them in the theater and see them throughout the year we do a really good job but there's always at least you know november comes around and we got a good list of 10 that we got to watch and, right and so we're kind of doing that trying to watch a couple a week is kind of what we're i doing. think uh I, I think we found our worst though and i think well, yeah we uh, maybe yeah um, we, we haven't seen we haven't seen <laughs> don't spoil anything but i'm yeah. just saying uh, I think we did. I, I really think we did. <laughs> I think we really did. I really, really think if, we did. If something tops that, well, then holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we're in the middle of that. Um, and on that note, we should probably get going and watch some horror movies. All right. So. Well, our Bloody Marys are dead, and so are we. Yeah. Um, Drink in moderation, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. The Bloody Marys.